Welcome everyone. I want to make this special video to help those of you who are trying to figure out what your life purpose destiny is. I know a lot of the, you know, videos that I put out here are focused on love and relationships, but here's the thing. A lot of times, and we know this is the truth, a lot of times when your love life is, so are your finances, because it's all tied in to self-worth issues and maybe even not being focused in terms of how to direct your energy, not really being self-aware and knowing what to invest yourself in and what not to. And so it's really important for people, whether they realize it or not, to get this information. So I'm going to make it available. Um, especially for those of you who really um, maybe need some guided instruction, a mentor perhaps, but maybe you can't afford that right now. And by the way, that's how I started learning. Um, what I did is just, you know, to do it myself because I couldn't afford to hire somebody. Um, I went over to Cafe Astrology and you can um, get their natal chart at this address, astro.cafeastrology.com forward slash natal dot php and fill out this information and I gotta say this I gotta say this because people like to be fuzzy and play around this is not anything to play around with when it says here to put your time of birth put it exactly and if you don't know then uh, you need to look it up on your birth certificate or you know pay the fifteen dollars to go get it printed out you can usually get it through mail or something like that but um, you know, your birth chart is this precise. It's as unique as a fingerprint. Not even twins have the same natal chart because they're not born during the same minute. So um, absolutely, it's critical that you get the minute. And once you do put that in, I mean, they do have an option here, click unknown time, all right? But again, if you want precision, you want accuracy, you want the truth, after you put all that in, um, then you click submit and then what you're going to get is your natal chart report, which here's mine. I've already gone and filled it out. And so what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. I mean, definitely, if you've not seen this before, you take the time to read it. But for the purpose of this video, let me show you what to look for. And there's an ad overlay here, unfortunately, where it's kind of blocking this off. But what you most want to pay attention to are several uh, placements okay you want to know what your ascendant is a s c mines and taurus and um, also look at your mars placement okay because the ascendant is how you're coming across out in the world your mars is how you assert yourself out in the world um, Jupiter might be another interesting one. What brings expansion to you? What you bring expansion to as well? Um, for me, that's Pisces. Um, and, you know, definitely look at your uh, Midhaven MC and mine's in Aquarius. So uh, also look at your Ascendant node, also known as, known as your North node. Okay, and this describes what it is that you're moving towards in this life, what you are needing to focus on your true north, your level of mastery in this life, what you're headed for. South node is what you've already mastered, what you're leaving behind. So those are very interesting placements to consider. And then, um, you know, look at the houses that they're in, okay? Um, when you're looking at your chart, it's really critical to see what's going on in um, your sixth house in terms of your working life or your 10th house in terms of career status recognition out in the world. But um, if you're wanting to know about money and shared resources, definitely money, you know, look at what's going on in your second house, look at what's going on in your eighth house having to do with, you know, other people's money that affects you, shared resources. And then for some of you, you might be interested in what's going on in your fifth house because that might have some kind of clue as to what's going on with your level of creativity, what you're creating in this life. And definitely, um, 
you know, look at the aspects involving these houses and these placements. Yes, this is very involved, okay, especially if you're a novice at it, you can do it. It will take you time. Definitely take notes as you go so you can refer back to it. But let's say, for example, I'm studying, you know, what's going on with my Mars placements, okay? I've got three aspects here, Mars sextile Jupiter, Mars opposing Saturn, Mars squaring Pluto. Uh, <laughs> You know, for those of you who know astrology, that's some pretty heavy stuff right there. But, you know, if you want to know more about it, just go to Google and type in Mars sextile Jupiter or Mars in Capricorn in the eighth house. OK, and then you've got all kinds of resources here to tell you what that means, how it relates. And you can take notes, maybe in a little journal just for yourself. Um, uh, that you keep where you're putting all these pieces together and figuring out how it applies in your life. Now, finally, some asteroids that you might want to consider are um, Fortune and Vesta, okay? And Fortune is about um, the area in your life that you are, you know, the, the endeavors where, you know, you are most likely to have um, auspiciousness blessing <laughs> and um, then your Vesta placement will give you an indicator of about of where you can uh, focus your efforts for the greatest effect the greatest impact so um, all of these are really helpful but if you find that overwhelming okay and you're just like oh my gosh would somebody just tell it to me now in <laughs> say a 30 minute to an hour long reading. Um, I do have private readings available that I've, I've just recently um, opened up two special readings for this where one of them is about your life purpose destiny where we can actually not only look at the astrology but pull the cards and I have another um, reading available that is like a 12 month forecast where we can pull cards and look at the energies you're coming into astrologically over the next 12 months to kind of help you manage uh, whatever challenges or leverage any astrological support you have to undertake things in the proper timing. It, these are really good uh, readings that I want to have available for those of you who are able, but of course, if you're not, I wanted to put this out there so those of you can have the tools to get it yourself if need be to start somewhere. And um, I do, as a reminder, have um, a very affordable teaching series on Vimeo for $3.99 per video. It's on healing financial and self-worth wounds. So this is yet another resource to help you get on track. If in some way you feel that you, you have, you know, you're lacking some kind of clarity and where do I go? How do I go about getting the blessing in my life, which I absolutely believe God intended for all of us to live and walk in abundance. But yes, it's quite the challenge. So I hope the resources I've made available here help you. And if you want to know more, stay tuned to the very end. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.